How to set up payment methods in WooCommerce tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can set up your payment methods in your WooCommerce website. So let's get into it. Now, whenever you are building a e-commerce store, you need to make sure that the payment process is simple for a customer. So if a customer is choosing an item, they are adding it to their cart. And when they want to check out, you want a actual proper page and function where they can properly check out. So to do that, simply head on over to your WordPress dashboard and click on WooCommerce over here. Once you are on WooCommerce, you will be able to see all of the information. So you have your theme, you have all of your basic stuff. So if you want to set up payment methods, simply go into the settings section of WooCommerce. Now there are a bunch of things you need to keep in mind. First off, you can go into the plugin section on the bottom left. And once you go over there, you will find WooCommerce Payments. Now, this is usually a extension that is added whenever you download WooCommerce. And I would recommend you activate this extension. It will simplify a lot of card transactions for a lot of people. And you can simply click on Finish Setup over here. And this is like the recommended plugin by WooCommerce. It's created by WooCommerce. And you're just going to click on Finish Setup for this to be connected to your WooCommerce where you can enable Visa, MasterCard, American express discover union pay google pay apple pay payments and you will just simply click on over here and connect your e-commerce your email address that you are using to build your wordpress website and it just takes a couple of seconds for you to authorize this payment setup and we will then begin setting up the payment setup so after that they will ask you to connect stripe and just enter your woocommerce or stripe information over here you can choose wherever you are from and we're just going to scroll down from over here like so so once you have input all of your basic information you can just head on over to the payment section of woocommerce and now you'll be able to see you have to complete you know complete verification but you can scroll down and take a look at the different setups you have you can click on your settings over here in the payment section and you will be able to see the different payments that are enabled so you can click on enable woocommerce payments to enable this specific payment method on checkout and we will simply click on over here and now this will be enabled now below that you have payments accepted on checkout we have a credit card or debit card and you can see the service charges for each one of these specific payment methods then you have apple pay or google pay then you have transactional preferences and below that you have a deposit schedule now if you uh, if you want to you know expand your business globally you can simply click on multi-currency over here and you can enable multiple different currencies that people can buy from so if their account is based on another currency you can just put in the default rate or you can enter a different currency that you accept payments in so let's say i want to accept payments in another currency let's say i want to accept payments in usd as well so you can enter that and this will be like the default exchange rate that you're going to get then you also have store settings so you can switch currencies so your customers can switch currencies to their native currency if they are viewing from a different region or from a different country so I like to enable that. Now, another thing to keep in mind whenever you are setting up your payment system is if you have any taxes or anything of that sort, make sure to go ahead and enter shipping and taxes plugins as well. That will enable you to automatically deduct or calculate taxes for your WooCommerce store as well. Now, another thing to keep in mind is within your pages section, you want to make sure you actually have a checkout page so whenever you go into woocommerce you click on settings over here and you can go into products now you'll be able to see the shop page the redirect page your price holder all of your basic information so you want to be able to provide a point of sale or you know a proper method for people to check out so woocommerce has their paid setup over here and you can click on reset api you can reset the api and create your own woocommerce page now from here you're going to link your cart page your checkout page your my account page and you have your point and points over here now make sure you don't delete any of those pages so uh we're going to enter a new page over here 
and I'm just going to publish this page. I'm going to just publish it as it is because I'm just using this as a, uh, you know, point of sale a section for my WooCommerce setup so I can go back into WooCommerce and I can go into my WooCommerce settings and then I can go into my point of sale section and my cart page or my checkout page. So I want to link the checkout page over here and now when people are looking to check out they will be headed to the checkout page so on and so forth. Usually when you download WooCommerce as a default that page will be added automatically so you don't have to create these pages however if you have removed them then you have to add these pages for a proper checkout system on your WordPress website with WooCommerce. Now if you want to accept other kinds of payments, you can always go into the plugin section and you have WooCommerce payments, but you can also go into add new. And once you go into add new, you can simply search for payment and you can search for any kind of specific payment that you might want. So we have the Stripe getaway. You also have things like PayPal payments. You can enter those as well. And you also have things like Stripe payments. You have uh, payment forms and mobile payments. So if you want to enable a specific type of mobile payment or a very niche kind of payment getaway that is not uh, you know, covered in the basic WooCommerce payment getaways, you can enable those via a simple plugin from over here as well. You can accept Klarna for WooCommerce, you have RadPay, many other of these third-party payment options that people are now using. So you can use those and, you know, add them to your WooCommerce store in the form of a plugin as well. But enabling basic payments is pretty simple. And if you don't want a plugin, if you don't want any fancy type of plugin, you don't actually need WooCommerce payments, you can deactivate that. And even if I delete WooCommerce payments, I can simply head on over to WooCommerce and then go into the settings section of your WooCommerce store. So if you just head on over to the settings section, you can simply go on ahead and click on payments over here and you have some default payment methods such as WooCommerce payments, which is going to be the app, uh, you know, app section where you can download all of these kinds of payment methods, but you can enable cash on delivery, check payments and direct bank transfers directly from WooCommerce's native application. And I also have my POS checkout, so you can, you know, do a POS checkout by sending customers a checkout where they can enter all of their payment information. So these are just one of the couple of ways that you can set up payment methods on WooCommerce. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video